Hi guys, it's Aji. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying out, reviewing, and swatching Focolure's newest launch, their Velvet Lip Glaze. So if you want to see how they look like, how they perform, and my thoughts on them, then just keep watching. Okay, so before we turn to the swatches, let's first look at the claims and the packaging of the product. It comes in a box like this. Um, you'll see in the product swatch, but it looks like this. I think they're sticking by the velvet matte claim of the lipstick where um, the box is very matte. There's no reflective um, text on it like the Stay Max Lip Tints. Uh, if you remember my review on them, I noted that the packaging has reflective text. It looks very aesthetic but this also looks like very simple. Um, it has text on all of the sides. Here they show you the barcode and when it expires, mine expires on 2023, November 6. On the back, it says the um, product name and the suggested usage, the ingredients, and caution. Before we actually start, I want to be very transparent with you guys. This video is not sponsored, however, Focalure did send me some of these products and I'm trying them out because a lot of you guys have been asking me to review it. So let's go on to the swatches. For the swatches, I'm going to be going from the very first shade 000 up until um, 302. we move on to the next color first impressions you honestly don't even feel it like the lips I noticed that when I first applied it it's very pigmented and when I started to rub it off you don't see the cracks of my lips very much uh, the formula dare I say is even better than the gogo tails lipstick I did swatch it on my hand and you know I was I was okay at the way it looks on hand swatches when I swatched it on my Instagram stories. It's very similar to the first velvet lipstick that they swatched. These ones, it's very similar to these ones. However, when I applied it on my lip, uh, it did feel very smooth. It does feel very velvety and it's very lightweight. Can you see the crustiness of my lips? I personally don't and it's it's amazing <laughs> I think I like it I mean I personally don't see shine reflecting on my lips it does feel very matte but unlike other matte lipsticks it does not give you that very papery and uncomfortable feeling you know so yeah let's move to the other shades So last na to, <laughs> iso swatch ko na talaga lahat ng colors after. But I just want to say, this is a very new lipstick. Um, so far, I think both of these are going to be my MLBB everyday type of uh, lipstick. The effects are still the same. It's still very velvety, still very smooth. It feels really good on the lips. I assume this color would be a little more pink, a little more um, 
pigmented looking or like colorful looking on someone with brighter skin tone. However, I don't know really how this color would perform on Marana's skin tones. I feel like someone a little bit darker than me could get away with it, but um, for someone with a little more melanin, okay, for my melanin queens, I would recommend this more as an MLBB lip. So yeah, let's watch the other colors. Even in real life, even more so on camera, it looks like 
you know that smoothening filter that TikTok has? It kind of looks like my lips have those. in the lahat ng colors but I'm really having fun playing with the shades and so this part is going to be me showing you ombre lips or colors that I think would look good together so first off I think 000 and 301 would look good together I think 301 is a much darker much brighter version of this 000 so we'll see first I'm going to apply 000 all over the lips and one thing that Focal Your claims is that this transfers, but once you blend it out, it will become a little more sheer, but the color is still there. So here you have a little nude orange brown moment. If you see the stains on the side of my lips, no, you don't. So here is 000, arguably one of my most favorite shades out of the entire line. So next, I'm going to top it off with the um, 301 just on the inner side of my lips. So just on the inside of my lips, tapping the color in. Ooh, that definitely works. I think this is a very natural lip combo. So, there. Next combo I'm going to show you is 101 and 104. I actually don't know if this is going to work. It's a nude brown um, combo. Starting off with 101. Um, next, I'm going to add 104 on the inside of the lips. Okay, so the last color combo I'm going to show you is 204 and 302. Um, I think these are both on the mauve red types, so I think they'll look good together. So let's start with 204. And next, I'm going to add 302, the darkest shade, on the inside of the lips. I'm going to add just a little bit. <laughs> and now, for the first time ever on this channel, we're going to test if this is waterproof. I actually don't... Are, is this supposed to be waterproof? It's not supposed to be waterproof, but uh, Focolier did tell me that even though the lipstick transfers, the color is supposed to stay. So... Oh my god, there's... My red horse na brand. <laughs> the brand on this cup is an alcoholic brand. Do not drink kids if you're underage, but we're going to test it out. This is where my lipstick stayed. I mean, if you press really hard, it's going to transfer, but it did not really disturb the color on my lips, so I guess that's true. Too good. 
good. Let's test the transfer proof on the paper. No color. Like, none at all. Oh my god. Even on the other side. So I don't think it really transfers unless you press really hard on your lips. I mean, even when I press really hard, it does not really... <laughs> it doesn't really move. So, yeah. Um... I think it's good. So for price, I mean it's 109 pesos I think on Shopee. I don't know how it will cost in other Southeast Asian countries like in Malaysia or Indonesia but here it's roughly around $2, 2-ish dollars, 109 pesos. And um, do I think that's justified for the price? Yes, I do think it's justified. I mean, you can get this for 200 each. It has 4 ml as compared to this one, which is 2.5. You can get this, but the shade range is very... I wouldn't say bright. They only have 6, which compared to lip clay has 12. And I think this one has also a very wide shade range, but the colors are very red and pink centric. So yeah. I mean, you can get this and another shade which will amount to 5 ml for 218 pesos which is around the same shade that you will get the Gogo Tales one. For the price, I would give it a 4.5 out of 5. For the packaging, the box is very informative, very simple. It's less glamorous than their other boxes that they have for their lipsticks but it is still that very minimalist, simple, chic vibes. And the packaging here, I really think is innovative. I mean, the colors, you won't see because the packaging is matte white, matte cream white. They have the brand right here, and they have the clay on the side. And the clay, the, the color on the text of the word clay is almost the same as the color inside the bottle. Um, I would give it a 4. I think if there's anything that I could correct with this, um lipstick is that I wish they did have it in a larger bottle. I don't mind anything with the design, I just wish it would come in bigger because I know I would just go through this very very quickly because they are good for MLBB type um, lips. For performance, I think you guys would know already. <laughs> it's a 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, 20 out of 10. It's so so good. The colors very blend in very easily it does not feel dry at all but it looks very dry one thing that i would like to uh, point out is that a lot of brands have been coming out with velvet lipsticks velvet lip tints but when you put it on it's almost the same as using a matte lipstick in the terms that it's very dry very papery and that's one of the reasons why when i look for velvet lipsticks online i just i i think i would prefer having a video of them blending it out because it's it's really hard to look for a true velvet lipstick. Even the Gogo Tales. I think Gogo Tales is one of the first um, brands to launch a velvet uh, feeling lipstick. And they did it well. And I think Focal Your past Gogo Tales in terms of performance with the lipsticks, it's very, very good. It lives up to the claims. The shade range also, oh my god, I forgot to talk about it, but I love the shade range. Can you see that? Can you see that? The shade ranges from oranges, browns, pinks, reds. The extensive shades go really, really dark. Some could go for a dark lip on um, Morena Babes, okay? One of my favorite shades, I think that would look good on Morena Queens. Uh, 301, 105, 302, and 201. As for the other lipsticks, I mean, for lighter skins, I think we could get away with most of the colors. I don't really think I have a lot to say with regards to performance. I mean, it's very, very good. I don't like some of the shades on myself, but that's honestly just a personal preference. A lot of you could rock these shades, even the mauve. I didn't think I would like this mauve color, but it still looks good on me. 5 out of 5. I would give it a 5 out of 5. 6 out of 5. 10 out of 5. On every lipstick, I would always say that this might be my next lipstick. This might be my next favorite lipstick. But this really could be <laughs> my next favorite lipstick. I mean, it's so, so good. I don't know how much I can emphasize that. It performs well, blends out well. And even when you blend out the colors, the colors does seem to fade a little, but it still looks immaculate. I mean, it's chef's kiss. 
So yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. And if you want to see more content of me <laughs> reviewing stuff, putting on makeup, then make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!